The New York City Council pushing to clean up kids' meals across the city. A new proposal would force restaurants to change their menus so the drinks offered to kids would be limited to water, milk, and 100% juice. Restaurants that don't comply face a fine. News source Erica Byfield joining us live in the West Village with some reaction from parents there. Erica? So most of the parents that we talked to today agree with the city council. They would like to see this change, but some of them think it may go a bit too far finding those restaurants that do not update their menus. It is always nice to wash down a meal with an ice cold beverage. And if a new proposal floating around City Hall gets approved, New York City kids will only get three choices water, milk, and 100% juice. For the greater good, I think it's great that New York City wants to offer more water and milk to kids instead of all the sugary drinks. The New York City Department of Health says one in five kids in kindergarten are obese. What we're focused on is just making sure that folks have a choice between healthy options as the default. Councilman Ben Carlos is backing the bill that would force restaurants to update kids menus or face a fine. The bill has the support of the American Heart Association, which says that kids should be limited to one eight ounce sugary beverage per week. For years, the Heart Association has been looking at the many reasons why our society is really struggling with excessive weight. And it's not a surprise to anyone that sugary drinks and the excessive consumption of sugary drinks is really the prime consumption. The AHA, along with the American Pediatrics Association, called for a change just this week in marketing to kids and possibly increasing prices of sugary drinks. Moves that some think go too far for now. A little like nanny state. I don't know. It just. I don't agree with it. Parents do have options. They can choose a soda instead of a healthier pick. Kalos is just hoping they won't. The truth is, this is about trying to nudge people in the right direction. So this move is going to impact 24,000 restaurants here in New York City. If the full city council approves it and then the mayor signs it, it's going to go into effect about a year later. In the West Village, Erica Byfield News 4, New York.